Hey, what's up, YouTube? Houston here. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you some of the places that you can go get a free business bank account, okay? And then I'm going to explain to you why or you may not want to actually open up a business bank account with them, all right? But being fair, let's talk about where you can actually go, especially if you're worried about check systems and you can't get a checking account with a regular bank and stuff like that these are the places that you want to go all right so the first one excuse me is uh blue vine okay so blue vine they don't charge a monthly fee and they don't charge you a fee to actually open up a bank account now i'm gonna tell you a possible another hack in terms of how you can actually leverage these here bank accounts as well all right now You'll also have Novo, okay? They do not charge a monthly fee, and they do not charge you a fee to open up the checking account, the business checking account as well. Then you have Axos, or Axos, A-X-O-S, all right? So they don't charge a monthly fee and uh, to have the account, nor do they have a monthly fee to open it. Then you have Found, okay, F-O-U-N-D, they don't charge a fee as well. Then the next one is Mercury. Mercury Business Checking Account. They don't charge a fee. And then you have TD Banks. TD Banks, TD Bank, excuse me, does not charge a fee to open up account or charge you a monthly fee. Now there's one on the list. They will allow you to open up an account uh, for free. However, there's a certain balance that you have to maintain, like $2,000 in order for them not to charge you a monthly fee, and that's Chase. Now, here's the thing about it. Chase is the only bank on this list that I, as an individual, if I'm building business credit and wanting uh, my transactions to report it to the business credit bureaus, Chase is the only one. The reason is, is because they're one of the gatekeepers, okay? So with Chase, many of you may or may not know that Chase, with their business bank accounts, and it's very important, especially when you're trying to build up business credit to get business funding. Chase reports to Experian Business, Equifax Business, Small Business Financial Exchange, and it's shared with Dunn and Bradstreet. Now, here's the interesting thing about it, looking at a business credit profile. They do not identify on your business credit profile. So if you go to uh, NAV, and I'll put a link below this video. If you go to NAV and you look and see like your net 30s and stuff like that, you would notice that they don't identify any financial institutions on the file. Okay? None of them. They won't identify them. So, but Chase is one of the ones that will report. Now, here's something else that you should know. The best way for you to build up the business credit is using the uh, business bank rating, okay? And so what that means is that I always tell you guys to put um, daily deposits, weekly deposits, as often as possible. This helps with your business bank rating, all right? Your business bank rating is more important than a Dunn's number, a Paydex score, or net 30s all right because with your business bank rating showing the relationship that's how you get funding and you'll get the highest amount of funding depending on the amount of money that you're depositing now here's something else that you guys hopefully that you guys can utilize I, these uh other institutions that are not using uh check systems and stuff or not pulling from your credit report you do have to have an ein N number but say that you needed to liquidate a credit card or something like that i would check with these financial institutions and see if they will allow you to start your deposits with a credit card and what would be the limit that they will allow you to make the deposits with okay so that way if you need to liquidate the credit cards and stuff putting it into your business bank account now you have activity going on and then using that money for however you need to invest into other aspects of your business okay that's one way to leverage it now like with blue vine they offer like business lines of products and stuff but you have to have strong revenue and stuff and they will report to experience if you get a like a line of credit and stuff but for like their banking and stuff like that 
it does not report to the business credit bureaus. So for those of you that's wondering, like, should I get this account? Should I get this account or whatever? I would tell you to go with Chase, okay? Citibank or Wells Fargo, all right? Now, if you have any other questions besides, um, if you have any other questions, excuse me, um, click the link in the description, all right? Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.